Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a ZBrush time lapse like Folygon. That's me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's my preferred style of time lapses where I go through my entire sculpt without moving the camera or 3D model. Typically post these styles of time lapses outside of YouTube, and if you want to see more of those, you can follow me on Instagram at Folygon. Overall, it's a pretty easy setup to change the settings and get everything where it needs to be for this particular style, but the difficult part is the pre-planning that happens while you do the sculpt that'll help make your time lapses look a lot more smooth and better overall. So to get this to work, before you even begin sculpting in ZBrush, you need to come up here to File and check Undo History. That is going to save your undo history with your quick save files and with your ZBrush project files, which can be saved by going to file, save as. Keep in mind this will generate a much larger file that if you were to just save a Z tool under tool, save as, it's gonna be about 10 times that size if you save a ZPR with undo history. ZTools are the preferred method of saving ZBrush files, so save that way 99% of the time unless you really want to save your undo history, which in this case we definitely do. So at this point you would obviously take your sculpt through to completion before you performed your time lapse. Obviously you need something to have a time lapse of, right? But I'm going to pull up my Magikarp here, which I have already sculpted and finished. And if you look here under my subtools on the right side, you can see all of my parts and pieces. And up here at the top of the screen, you can see my undo history that has been saved for each one of these subtools. Once you get to this point, we can go ahead and set up our time lapse. I'm going to dock the movie palette over here on the side of the screen so that we can keep it up. And I'm going to open up title image and overlay image and drag these three sliders all the way down to zero. Go ahead and close those. Next up, open up your timeline and modifiers palette. You can close your timeline palette after clicking show. And finally, we're going to start from the top of the screen here and work our way down. Click document and large. Spin frames drag down to one. Spin cycles put at zero and H position and H orientation at zero as well. The rest of the settings defaults should be perfect for what we need. Now to set up your document for recording. I'm gonna open up document and turn off pro so that I can make a nice size canvas of 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to click resize and yes. I'm going to zoom out my document just a little so that I can see better. Go to layer clear and redraw your model back on your canvas. You can change your document color for your time lapse. I'm gonna try a nice blue color. And I'm going to click up on my timeline to store this position. Just in case I bump anything, I can get that position back by dragging this red line. I'm going to turn on perspective and adjust it to around 30. And now we're all set up to go. I recommend that you organize your subtools in the order you want them to appear in your subtool list for your time lapse. It will make this a lot easier for you. I've already done that, so I'm going to go ahead and begin the recording process. I'm going to hide everything except my top subtool, go to the first undo history position, and select a white color with a basic material. Next, all we need to do is under movie, click forward history. It's going to go through your entire undo history for just that subtool, and we will have to do this with the others once it is finished. Do keep in mind that occasionally ZBrush will apply your current material to your subtool after doing this process and we can fix that just by reapplying our material. All right, let's do the next subtool and from there it's just a matter of going through all of your subtools and performing the recording. I'll speed up the footage real quick so you don't have to go through and watch every single one of these. Once you are finished, you're going to go to movie and click export. It will take some time to fully render everything and it will most likely pause at some point. If you don't see the footage moving on your screen anymore, don't worry do not close it, it's still processing, it's just taking some time to think. If it does pause, just let it sit until it's finished. When it is done, it'll disappear and plop you right back in ZBrush. From there, you can edit your footage or do whatever else you want with it. If you guys are interested in more ZBrush content, check out my Patreon, where I give away everything I make on this channel. And I think that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Hope to see some cool time lapses from you all, and I'll see you all in the next video.